First thing I want us to look at is the uncontested mark in the forward line here. It's obviously something we need to put a bit more pressure on them in the air. But down in the back here, Corey and Sean, good contest. Some really good uh, head and hands over that ball. Ryan now, look, is a great option for a hand pass. What we'd look for Ryan to do there is get it on the boot a little bit quicker. But here, Ryan's three on one. He's got no chance of getting there. So Corey could have done with a hand pass and a shepherd. And then boys looking to support each other a little bit better in that situation. Just a brief overview of the strengths and weaknesses, lads. Um, don't take it personally if your name's next to something. Next one's my favourite passage of play. Um, that we've got on video. Yes, great hit go! out. Louis is a great position, exactly where I want to be. Read the game really well. Feeds it off to me. In that situation, we're looking for our forwards to time their lead to be a little bit better. But we've put good pressure on them. See how Lou chased the ball up. Cal, Andrew, all chasing and put pressure on and caused that, that uh, point to happen there. We're looking at here now, looking to contest this mark in this situation a little bit better. Monk and I think Cal is getting a little bit tighter. More of a bit more pressure on Sean. He's trying to turn the one point of one already into a uh, more pressure for us. Sean keeps keep there, keep I'll take a uh, mark of the year. Obviously. <laughs> in this situation, boys, the only thing I'd say is looking for our team morale to be a bit better there. If someone takes a good grab or puts a good shepherd on, let's go and pick them up, pat them on the back. There's every chance they'll do it again for us that way. Another couple of things, just really good interchange from Cam, good time to do it, and Nico's communication from the sideline, really, really important there. Love this ball up here that's going to happen in a sec. So we have a really good spread of players around the ball up. You notice there's me, Degs, Nico, and Monk all in good position around, equally spread out around that ball. So we're all in a good position to try and make a contest of it. Come where the ball can, maybe put it on the boot there, have a shot, back yourself. You've probably got the leg from there to get it. A bit of communication needed around that there, boys, to tell Cam he's uh, maybe got a shot on goal. This second ball up, if you look, we're actually in a really attacking position, but we haven't got anyone near the goal square, so I'd look for one of our forwards to be on the goal square in that situation, in case the hit out, you know, comes over that way. But here, they get a free kick, and if you see, we actually go with our run really, really well. Nico, Cam's talking, Degs is talking, Monk's picking up, and we're actually in a good position to defend from that forward line there, I really like it. Too easy a mark though, Nico, I think you know there, you left your man, you, you did acknowledge that to be fair. Looking here now, Evo goes up, big contest, needs someone front and centre to get that ball, probably should have been me, running past. And then, Evo, I think you know yourself, yeah, I think you might slip, but daft free kick, ultimately did lead to a goal. So, in these situations, what we're looking for is just get front and centre boys when that ball's coming over the top, to think, where can I be? Where's that ball going to bounce? Where's that ball going to land? How can I affect the game in the next next couple of seconds? Yes, To start with, I'm too far from my man here, so you can see me coming to play, my fault. Corey takes a cracking mark in the pocket down here under pressure. And if you look, I think it's Evo splits wide. I'm trying to lead out wide, so we've got some good options there. But Corey sticks to the game plan, goes down the line. Needs someone in front and square of Degs here. Degs, back yourself to catch that ball every time, but let's try and get front and centre. Now, if you watch Cameron, first effort, second effort. Third effort, fourth effort, we need to get someone else around him, supporting him. Cal creates good pressure up here. Okay, good pressure. Hold the ball, lock it up, lock it up. Again, we get it. Comes back out, don't have the best option, maybe some more chat around that ball. Got a free kick. Monk does the right thing. Puts it up near the goal square. Good position from Cam, good lead. And looking not to take that grab. Again, we've got a nice attacking ball up situation here. And if you watch Cal, does a really, really good job. Goes top of the square, exactly where I'd want someone for that ball that's coming loose. You can get a toe on it and maybe sneak it through. Got some good pressure down in that pocket down there. 
we're a bit loose here and we let them out quite easily. We really should have probably made more of that. Chap takes a good mark, and even under with some pressure from Corey. Now we need to be working really hard. Monk, you can see, he's chased all the way back from the forwards, putting pressure on. Kick comes out wide, Evo's putting pressure on. Chase, chase, chase. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Sean, pressure, wait, tackle. Gets the turnover. Great stuff. Great pressure. Monk, Evo, Sean. Just what we want. Just what we want. The whole game that needs to be. And ultimately, draw frustration. We get free kick. Perfect. So with this free kick moving up then, we've got Sean on the ball. We're looking for him to hit top of the square. Looking for our forwards to be leading. Degsy, Drew leading. People like Louis getting in and around him on the pack on the floor. You see as the ball comes up, Degg's trying to have a bit more confidence in the air, mate. Hold on to that ball. But we do need someone around him to get the scraps on the crumbs. OK, but Degg's great second effort here with a bit of pressure on. I managed to pick up and just about get a toe on it into Cam. A bit of chat here, Cam's, you can see he could have had a shot on goal there. So a bit more communication, boys. Because he's not really kicked to anyone in the lead there. It's not really a lead. Easy mark in the forward line. And they get to clear the ball again. Take a mark and do no pressure. But we're working harder there to shut that down. I intercept this ball here now. Pick out, I think Nico is out just inside the zone. Okay, in this situation, you can tell Nico's probably going to have a shot well within his rights too because it's in his range. But what I do want, I want other options as well. I'd like a forward leading or a midfield running from the back just to give him other options, put a bit of doubt in the in the Bears' minds as well. Because ultimately, you should have got Dick of the Day for that, let's face it. Just the last set of strengths and weaknesses then, boys, from that last, pass last passage. But I can't stress enough that we just need to up our intensity for a whole 80 minutes. And that'll really, really make a massive difference to our game. Nice one, boys.